Smokey and the Bandit stands at the top of a lot of Southern movies as sort of a quintessential story tale of, you know, two men and a woman who are on the run from the law trying to get something done, the legality of which is questionable at best. But they're out there trying to do their best. And that kind of flows perfectly into anime and in a way that, that you will see shortly. There are several anime that lend itself well to the Smokey and the Bandit formula, none so perfect as Samurai Shampoo. The anime about uh, two young samurai and a young girl who are out there to find, uh, you know, something different for each one, whether it be uh, to prove that they are the best that there has ever been, uh, to avenge their master, or to find someone's daddy. It's all very uh, simple, but also very southern in its execution. Now, where Smokey and the Bandit takes country music and country rock and applies that to a uh, a almost uh, bullet-esque story, um, Samurai Champloo does the same thing with hip-hop, and the South makes the best hip-hop in the world, so it only makes sense to have it uh, be a part of the anime for Southern Hair's story. Now, you got Burt Reynolds and his buddy and Sally Fields, and they're out there trying to beat Boss Hog and get the Coors Light to the party on the, east, on the West Coast from the South. Just like you got Jen and Mugen, and they're trying to help this young lady find her daddy, the samurai who smells like sunflowers. Very simple stories about progression, about, about a travel, about a trip, about the law, about how they disregard the law and how the law is ultimately corrupt and designed just to uh, crush them under the heel, but also stories about their own personal progress and how they grow and become uh, friends and a familial unit. And that's how Smokey and the Bandit is Samurai Champloo and also Outlaw Star and also like 17 other anime. It's true.